Hey everyone, Shabim here and welcome back to some more Youth Squad Legends. Right, international break time. We have got home and away games, both friendly matches against Egypt, so this should be interesting. I would hope that we'll beat Egypt home and away, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Without further ado, the Egyptians await. Let's get ourselves to Cairo. So this is the team we've got then. We're starting to mimic our own team now, uh, Bray Wanderers side anyway, formation-wise. We've got O'Connor in goal, Rafferty at the left, Staunton and Ennis in the middle with Boyce at the right. Uh, Luke Rafferty and Patrick Kelly playing as central midfielders. Then we've got Ender Cunningham, Liam O'Connor? No, Liam O'Connor is a goalkeeper. Oh, we're not, I don't know. Uh, Barry Ennis on the right and then, uh, of course, Fitzpatrick, a striker. Let's go. That's the ball. Rafferty making the run. Ball into the middle. Oh, it's got to be. Got to be. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, it's gone in. It's an own goal, but we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. We should have scored anyway, to be honest with you. Although Fitzpatrick is claiming it. I don't think it's his goal, to be honest. But unless it was going on targets, they'll give it to him. I'm not sure. But that cross was immense. Look at this cross. It's perfect. Straight across. God knows how the first guy missed it. No, that's got to be an own goal, hasn't it? Because the keeper saved it. The ball came out and then hit the defender, and it's gone in. So that is an own goal. But either way, Fitzpatrick's happy. We lead 1-0. Of course, remember, we've got the European Championships this summer. So this will be an interesting game to see if we can... Uh, two games, that is, to see if we can obviously win and show our ability. Put some pressure on the big teams. They know we're coming for the Euros. Wow, referee, come on. We kept the ball in with Barry Boyce. Making the run. In swinging ball. Nice header. Good save by the keeper. Let's bring on Bowen in place of O'Connor. Give Bowen some minutes. Barry Ennis with the corner. It's headed clear. Again, it's come to their bloody play. It always does. It's Barry Boyce. Nice. Play down the line. Finding Barry Ennis, who cuts inside, takes a shot. Oh, it's gone high and wide. Barry Ennis is balling once again. On the volley, again cleared. Only as far as Bowen. There's the shot. Oh, that would have been an amazing goal, that would have been. Man, if that had gone in. Oh, it was a mile wide. It's much further wide than I thought it was going to be. Don't concede. Wow, what an absolutely terrible game. I mean, that was just sheerly bad. I mean, we, we probably dominated the game. We had quite a lot of opportunities with quite a lot of shots, but we just could not score a goal at all. Of course, apart from the the own goal, there we go. 13 shots, four on target. That just shows you how bad we were on target wise. Ratings were pretty poor for the whole team. They did have Mo Salah on the pitch, but I didn't even notice it was that bad today. I didn't even notice. But okay, we bring uh, an away win at Egypt, one 0 I think I'll take to be honest with you. Uh, but of course, we've got Egypt at home coming up for you now. Let's get straight into that game. Right, India beat Germany. India beat Germany 2-1. Wow. Right then, here we go. Made a couple of changes. So we're sticking with the same back five. Well, yeah, same back five. We brought in Bowen in that uh, central midfield spot. And I brought in Pierce Campbell at left wing in place of Ender Cunningham. So without further ado, let's see if we can beat Egypt a bit more convincingly this time. Barry Ennis is ball in early. There's a nice header. It's off the post. It's got to be. That's a penalty. Wow. Three minutes in our first attack of the game. And straight away we have a penalty. It would have been a goal though. I'm surprised he's not being sent off to be honest. I mean it is only a friendly match. Referee's probably been a little bit considerate. But yeah that, that was an open goal. He's about to tap that in for a penalty uh, for an open goal. Uh, but he blocked it off. So I'm surprised he's not sent him off for that. The referee to be honest. And now we have the penalty. Boom, in the back of the net we go. To make it 1-0 after three and a half minutes, we struggled a lot away at Egypt. But at home, we take the lead pretty early. Very early, actually. 
so that's good. Oh, very good penalty right in the bottom corner. Giving the keeper very little chance of getting the save. I mean, it was a decent height for him, to be honest. But I think he would have struggled. Right, Staunton scores. Ireland lead 1-0. Oh. Under O'Connor. Oh! Destroys the keeper's water bottle. It was a good shot, actually. So he doesn't score as many goals. Oh, actually, it was a, a massive deflection. So it's going to go for a corner. Doesn't score as many as I would like, to be honest with you. There's the corner by Barry Ennis, headed clear. Picked back up by Bowen. Ender O'Connor tried the cross, but defenders got in the way. Here's Ennis. Oh. Egypt's really fouling here. That's the same guy who gave the penalty away. It's Hagazi from West Brom. Wow. It's the same guy who gave the penalty away. I'm surprised uh, he should have been sent off for the penalty, to be honest with you. Barry Ennis is free kick in. It's cleared. There's the... Oh! 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 Luke Rafferty, what a hit! I don't think he's ever hit one anywhere near as sweet as that on any of our career mode matches so far. But look at that. Oh! That was something special, ladies and gentlemen. Slammed it high in the corner. Absolutely stunning. Can you imagine if he pulls one of those out of the European Championships? Oh, he'd be an absolute hero. There we go. Luke Rafferty, his first international friendly goal. I don't even know what that means, to be honest. But we lead 2-0 now just before halftime. That's what he wanted. We'd scored a goal in open play in these first two legs. I mean, they got an own goal in the first game, won it at 1-0, got a penalty in this one. Finally, a goal from open play. Granted, it was technically just, just after a set piece, but you know. <coughs> Chris Fitzpatrick. Back to Boyce. Here's Bowen. Rafferty. Oh, he's got his boots on today, hasn't he, Luke Rafferty? He's already scored one screamer. Make that two. And Egypt are collapsing here. Look at that. Rafferty and once again slams it into the top of the net. And we now lead 2-0. 3-0 even. 3-0. Good times. The Egyptian keeper not happy at all. There we go. Luke Rafferty. His second ever goal in international friendly. No idea. But either way, we lead 3-0. At Sanderson Park. It's not even half time yet. Cool. There's Kelly. There we go. 4 0. Is that Lloyd Kelly? I think it was Lloyd Kelly. Either way, he slammed it into the back of the net. There we go. It's a good bit of play here. We, we didn't rush. We waited the correct moment, took the pass, and there's the shot. And there is the goal. And there we go. Liam Kelly, even. Gets his first goal. He's not a regen. He's a real player by the looks of it, I think. He's not one of ours. I mean, he won't last in the squad very long when some more of our players start to level up. But, you know, well done to you for now. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. Unfortunately, we have no clean sheet to then, do we? But that was a cracking, cracking goal, that was. Well done. I don't, who was it? It wasn't Salah, was it? It was the other guy by the looks of it. It's a hell of a shot, this one. Or was, no, it was Salah, wasn't it? I think it might have been Salah, actually. It was Salah. He hit that sweet as a nut, didn't he? Right in the top corner. And we almost kept two clean sheets against Egypt, which we... Uh, well, for me, two clean sheets is fantastic work, isn't it? But, you know... I'm pretty impressed by that either way. And there we go. It makes it 4-1. Here's Pierce Campbell. Ball across the front. It's a header. It's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. And there we go. That is full time. 
That's not bad, you know. 1-0 win away from home against Egypt. And a 4-1 win at home to Egypt as well. I think that's actually uh, pretty good in the grand scheme of things. I think we're definitely ready for the Euros. And there's still time to go into the Euros as well, which is fantastic. I mean, we're only, what are we now, October? So we've still got three quarters of the season remaining. And hopefully, in that time frame, we are going to get... Um, more player upgrades. I mean, you look at our squad now. Yeah, we got uh, we got 79s. Wow. Three of our back four are 79s. Um, so hopefully they will be at least an 80. Campbell's a 79 as well. O'Connor's 78. He should be 80 as well. So it's just Bowen and Rafferty and Rafferty are the three that might still be under 80. But I think we're going to have a pretty decent team for this competition. Anyway... Let's have a gander at the calendar. Uh, I think we'll probably skip the Fulham and Bournemouth game. We'll come straight back then for the Carabao Cup game against Scunthorpe. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit a like. And of course, subscribe if you want to see some more. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you much for watching. And I'll see you very, very soon for some more of the Youth Squad Legends. Bye.